Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and it's totally free to subscribe, and a great way to help support me so that I can continue to make these videos, and like I said, completely free. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Today, I'm so excited because I've been wanting to show you guys this for a really long time, but I just haven't had the inspiration or the SVG to do it. I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own puzzles. These are so much fun. All you need is a cereal box, a soda box, any kind of thin cardboard will work. And you can color them, you can use the front of the box as your design if you would like, or you can use some Avery sticky sticker paper like I did and make your own puzzle out of your own picture. I can't wait to show you guys how to do it, so let's get started. The first thing that we need to do in Cricut Design Space is to upload our image for our puzzle pieces. So we're going to click Upload Image. I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse. And we are going to find the puzzle folder, which is right here. This is in the 9 Jigsaw Puzzle. You'll need to use the SVG, so open the SVG folder. And we're going to use Jigsaw 5 because I think that has enough pieces for what I want to do. So go ahead and click on Save. And then you're going to go ahead and insert your image into your design space. Now from here, you can resize it so that it fits within the area that you are using. Now I'm just going to make a random puzzle by using some sticker paper that we're going to cut out and put on top of a cereal box. The next step is to load in the photo or design that you want to use on your puzzle. So we'll click upload. I'm going to upload an image, click browse and go to my Cricut folder because that's where I saved the image that I want to use. You can use anything that you want. I'm just going to use a picture from our Disney trip. Just have to find it. There it is. We will upload that. I'm going to choose complex. Just click continue and continue again. You don't need to clean this up and you want to save it as a print and cut image. Click on save and it does take a second longer to save the print than cut images. And then you're going to go ahead and insert your image. And we want to make sure that our puzzle and our picture are the same size and that they fit within the parameters of the print then cut options. So you can print up to 6.75 by 9.25. So this is our widest point. So we're going to go ahead and make the 9.25 the largest side. And then we're going to change this one so that it matches that size. So we're going to do 9.25 over here. And they should be fairly close to the same size, if not identical, depending on what size photo you use. So since I used a, five, a four by six photo, it's going to fit perfectly. If yours doesn't, you may need to trim it down a little bit or kind of mess with it, but this should work just fine. So what I'm going to do is select both of these and I want to center them. That way it's going to cut them in the right spot. You don't want to um, have it off aligned a little bit. You want to make sure that it's perfect. So we're going to click attach and what that's going to do is tell the machine that it's going to print out our Olaf picture and then it's going to cut out our puzzle pieces. So when you click on make it, it's going to show you your first page, which is going to be your print and you're going to click on continue. It's going to send it to the printer and we're going to print this on eight and a half by 11 sticker paper. I'll get that printed and then I'm going to show you guys how to put this on to your cereal box. So what I've done is cut the front off of a cereal box. It doesn't have to be great cut, but just make sure you get that cut off. And then what we're going to do is take our sticker paper and lay it down on our cereal box. So I'm going to use my pin pen because I can never get the corners of these started no matter what I do, but the pin pen is great for this. And then we are going to lay our sticker paper down onto our cereal box. The biggest thing is to make sure that the actual photo is on the box and it doesn't matter if some of the rest of the paper is hanging off, but you wanna make sure that the cereal box is under your photo. So we're just gonna get that all laid down. Give it a nice press to make sure it is laid down nice and neatly. Get out any kind of bubbling that you might have. And there you go. So this is step number one. Then what you need is a super sticky mat. Don't use like a strong grip, but a newer green mat is what I recommend. 
you are going to lay your design down onto your mat. You can trim off this little edge right here if you want, but I'm not gonna bother. It should be just fine. And we are going to go set our machine to cut the right material. Over in Design Space, we will browse all materials and they do have a cereal box setting. So just search for cereal box. Go ahead and select that. Now with this one, I'm gonna put it on more pressure because I added that sticker paper and my blade's getting a little bit dull. So I'm gonna need a little bit more pressure to cut mine, but it should be just fine. So let's go back over to the machine so you guys can watch it cut. Now that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and unload it. Now, you will typically find that you're gonna end up with some little fuzzies from where it cut, and that's totally fine. I do recommend making sure to have some canned air to blow out your machine after doing projects like this, but we'll for now just take this, and we're just gonna make a little pile, and then tap it off. So, now what we're gonna do is remove our puzzle from our mat, and to do that, we're gonna actually flip our mat upside down, and we are just going to pull our puzzle off this direction because that way your puzzle isn't going to bend and break or get all funky when you go to try to pull it off. Now, because I had the sticker paper, it stuck to my mat a little bit, but that's okay. Now, I will say you may want to clean your mat off right after you do this because you will end up with some cardboard bits, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put my plastic right back on and I will clean it off when we are finished. So here is our puzzle. Now some pieces cut through really, really well and others are still stuck a little bit. Like I said, my blade's a little bit dull, so that probably had something to do with this, but we're gonna pull out what pieces we can, and then we may just take the X-Acto knife along the edges here, just to kind of get it to cut through the rest of the way. It's almost fully cut, it's just a little bit, little bit stuck still, but it's, it, you can see it came right off. I barely pressed. So let's go ahead and put our puzzle out and I'm going to get all our pieces apart and then we can put our puzzle together. All right, let's put this puzzle together. Now this SVG came with a bunch of different options. So you had a big puzzle or little puzzles. So there's a lot of different things that you could do with them. So we're just going to go ahead and get this guy put together. You could do this um, with your knife blade and some chipboard if you wanted to as well. I don't have any chipboard on me, so I did not do it that way, but you can, and it will make your puzzle sturdier than just doing it on the um, cardboard. So you can absolutely do that. And there we go, it is all together. Super easy to do, this is a great project. You can be extra super creative with it, do lots of fun things. You can have your kids draw and make their own puzzles, add pictures, use stickers, lots of cool things that you can do to make your own puzzles at home. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. That will let you know when I post a new video or when I go live. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting.